Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Science Query. Today's topic of discussion is grassland ecosystem types, biotic and abiotic factors. In next few minutes you will learn about what is a grassland ecosystem, what are the characteristics of grassland ecosystem, types of grassland ecosystem, abiotic and biotic factors of grassland ecosystem. Well, a grassland ecosystem is a type of terrestrial ecosystem. That is, this type of ecosystem thrives only on the land, not in water. 20% of the earth's surface is covered by grassland. Average rainfall in the grassland ecosystem is between 40 to 100 centimeters. Different countries and continents have different types of ecosystem and thus it has different names in different places like North America, it is known as prairies. South Africa, it is called as belt, whereas the grasslands of Europe and Asia are known as taiga. There are no big trees in the grassland ecosystem. Hence, this type of ecosystems are known as transitional zone. As the name suggests, it is a transition of halfway between the desert and the forest ecosystem. Grassland ecosystem doesn't support big trees because of the very dry climate, which make the soil loose. Therefore, in the grassland ecosystem, grasses are the predominant producer. Some examples of the grasses in grassland ecosystem are false oat grass, rough meadow grass, coxfoot grass, and so on. The dry season in this ecosystem can last up to 8 months. The appearance of grasses in this ecosystem changes with the season. Like during the winter, the grasses look rough and lifeless. Whereas during the rainy season, the grasses of this ecosystem change from pale brown to bright green. Now let us see what are the types of grassland ecosystem. Based on climate, the grassland ecosystems are divided into three types. The first type is the tropical grassland ecosystem. It is situated on 20 degree either side of the equator. The average rainfall is about 50 to 100 centimeters. Grasses is about 1 meter to 3 meters. Animals like deer, lion, giraffe, etc. are seen in the tropical grasslands of Africa. Second type of grassland ecosystem is the temperate grassland ecosystem. It is located in the center of continent. The average annual rainfall is 75 to 100 centimeters. It is mainly found in Australia, Europe, Asia, and North America. Animals like buffalo, zebra, kangaroo, etc. are found in the temperate grassland ecosystem. The third type of grassland ecosystem is the polar grassland ecosystem. It is located at higher altitudes. Snowfalls and blizzards are often seen here. The temperature is usually between 10 degrees centigrade. The total annual rainfall is low between 10 to 40 centimeters. Grasses, algae, moss, lichen, etc. grows in the polar grassland ecosystem. Now let us see what are the abiotic factors or components of the grassland ecosystem. The first abiotic factor of the grassland ecosystem is the soil. Tropical grassland ecosystems have chernozem soil and laterite soil. Temperate grassland soils are rich in organic matter. Chernozem and chestnut soils can be observed in this temperate region. The polar grassland ecosystem is mostly covered with snow and the soil is mostly in frozen state, that is permafrost. The second abiotic factor or component of grassland ecosystem is the temperature. Temperatures in different grassland ecosystems are between minus 20 degree to 30 degree centigrade. The temperate grassland is cold in winter and hot in summer. Tropical grassland ecosystems are both dry and humid in nature. Therefore, they are hot all the time. In the polar grassland, cold weather prevails throughout the year. Third abiotic factor or component of the grassland ecosystem is the rainfall. The annual average rainfall is about 40 to 100 centimeters. Tropical grassland ecosystems receive the highest amount of rainfall, followed by the temperate grasslands. 
usually receive rainfall in the summer. The amount of rainfall in the polar grassland ecosystem is very low, less than 25 centimeters. The fourth abiotic factor of grassland ecosystem is topography. Topography refers to the height of a region. The height of the tropical grassland ecosystem is very high in some places and very low in some places. Temperate grassland ecosystems are usually located on flat lands. Polar grassland ecosystems are observed at high altitudes. Now let us see what are the biotic factors or components of the grassland ecosystem. The first biotic factor or component of the grassland ecosystems are the producers. The grasses is the main producer of this ecosystem. There are also a variety of small shrubs. Second biotic factor of the grassland ecosystems are the consumers. Deer, mouse, rabbit, cows, sheep, etc. are the primary consumers. Snake, fox, jackal, etc. are the secondary consumers. Hawks, owl, etc. are the tertiary consumers. Third biotic factor of the grassland ecosystem are the decomposers. Penicillium, mucor, cladosporium, rhizospers, etc. and different types of bacteria are the decomposers of a grassland ecosystem. All these fungi and bacteria cause the decay of the producers and consumers of the grassland ecosystem. Now let us go through the quick summary of what we have learned so far. Grassland ecosystems are broadly categorized into three types of ecosystem called tropical grassland ecosystem, temperate grassland ecosystem and polar grassland ecosystem. Abiotic and biotic components are the two components of the grassland ecosystem. The abiotic component are soil, temperature, rainfall and topography. Whereas the biotic components are categorized into producers, consumers and decomposers. That is all we know about the grassland ecosystem and its type. I hope you enjoyed the topic and get a good understanding of the grassland ecosystem. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Asha Jyoti. I hope you enjoyed today's topic. Please subscribe my channel Science Query and do share, like and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.